We appear to have a totally whappy dog this morning. Yeah, it is absolutely bonkers today. Is it because it's cold you want to run around? So yeah, the temperature's like two degrees in here, which is pretty damn cold if you ask me. And today's the first day the kids are back at school, so we've dropped them off this morning. I came to work, but then I've since been back home to get some breakfast and pick the dog up. I didn't film anything this morning, but I did I did take the central guide section, whatever this piece is called, the centre plate, out of the table saw because that's just no good. You can't have anything that flexible in there, particularly that bit. I mean, look at that. How are you going to guide timber across there and keep it straight? I've no idea. So I've gone to the trouble of making one. Zero tolerance slot down the centre. That just needs pre-drilling and then we'll sit this into the top of the table saw and just increase this gap slightly so it can take also a bevel cut. Pop some screw holes in, bit of varnish, we'll give her a test run. But that, zero flex, that, terrible flex. <laughs> two of these bad boys so that one's going to be the 45 degree that one's going to be the straight cut you can really see the difference in the size of the hole there so that's going to allow me to cut real thin pieces of timber rip down real thin pieces of timber on there and he fits in there nicely I just have to remember to change these out when I want to do an angled cut so this was the second time round because the first time round, I ended up balls in it up and it went, uh, it went massive in the middle, bigger than the original, so there weren't much point. So that I've used as a template, and this one I've managed to get bob on. I just need to cut a little bit more back out for the, for the blade guide at the back, and the same goes for this, and I am really quite impressed with it. Really quite impressed. And now so I make sure I keep my fingers away, I'm going to give it a coat of fluorescent orange. And that's about all you've got time for. It is now quarter to three, I need to go home put tea on for the kids, tidy the house, pick the kids up and feed them. Am I going to get a chance to come back to work? Probably not. Anyway, sell a bee. let's crack on. Right, so I'm back home. What people don't realise is, when you have to come home at 3 o'clock or you don't get to work until 9am, it's only a 6 hour day. It's very difficult to get anything done in that six hour day and I'm the kind of person who wants to spend all day at work. If I'm at work, I don't mind doing 12 hours. But cutting it short, I feel like I've only got half a day in. So I have to look on the bright side, which is a new take for me. I'm gonna be picking the children up from school. Don't see it as a chore, but see it as a reward. I get to spend time with the kids, legitimately off work, you know, no skiving involved. What more could you want? I, I have to change the way I feel about this situation and put a positive spin on it. Unfortunately for me, the kids aren't really all that keen on eating my gourmet dinner preparations. They're quite happy with fish fingers and chips, which I don't want to do. 
So we'll see what their take on this evening is going to be. I also got myself two more LPE6 batteries which are for the Canon. Uh, they're knockoffs and it comes with this top max charger which sticks into a you know a general standard USB USB slot. So we have this blue light that appears. Once it's in focus, then you can see that it shows you that it's charging, which is better than the Canon charger. The Canon charger doesn't have this. And you can see, off they go, synchronous. I'll give a little bit of a review on these batteries. We'll see what the battery life's like on them and if they're worth purchasing. 2000 milliamp hours it says, we'll see. The Chinese batteries generally are overrated and it is made in China. But let's give them a whirl. I'll give them a shot. So, our distraction technique this evening was to drive across to Worksop, go to Home Bargains, Farm Foods, two shops that I never go in, and Pound Stretcher. And we bought some LED light bulbs some frozen chicken nuggets, yep. some washing baskets, and some coal, and some drinks, and some sweets. Oh, oh yeah, and that stuff too. You know what buddy, sod cooking tonight. <laughs> yep. We're having chips. <laughs> chippy chippy. Chippy chippy chippy. I got an extra sausage with mine. Yeah, I agree, you So, seven o'clock now. I'm off out for the evening run, get the quick two miles in. My legs aren't up to it from the six mile yesterday, but I'm gonna just grind through, get it done. I'm just sipping my collar up here, that's why my head's tilted back. Uh, and then when I get back, it's gonna be well past seven o'clock. I think Stuart's coming up for a meeting this evening at some point, and I'll have a glass of wine. I really don't know what else to put in the vlog without boring you to death. Apart from that little bit of woodwork I managed to do at work today. So, I'll do the same again tomorrow. Might be more interesting though. Maybe not. <laughs>